welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2 and our Dino Zoo. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at him. There's bats going over there and this guy is wearing some really nice rhino hat. I really like it. And I've just been sitting here kind of curious about when this geyser might go off again because it is possibly one of my favorite decorative items that we have going on in our zoo. But we have a lot to do today, my friends. So we are going to be trying to fill up this back exhibit back here with some sort of triceratops creature, something along those lines. We used to have a another one of the horned dinosaurs over here and they were pretty miserable they were not pretty happy they would break out all the time it created a lot of issues now we have a couple of really awesome carnotaurus who are just hanging out they're starting to challenge each other though so i think it's about time listening lying down challenging i think it's probably time to let our second male go unfortunately because they're just going to keep challenging each other I think the second male is definitely going, okay, 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 this is your territory, this is your territory. But they were raised together as kids, and just because that happened, it doesn't mean that they're going to get along together. So they seem to have decided now that they are of adult size, that there's only room for one here. So I think we're going to have to go ahead, we're going to adopt out this guy. He was worth quite a lot, actually. And we'll see if we can get this one a female pretty soon. It would be kind of fun to give him a name, too. There, now that he's done challenging, he's gonna go rest. What does this kid think of everybody? Oh, where'd his little, his little, he, he just had a little, a backpack and it disappeared just like that. What, what on earth happened? Oh, he likes the little deer. That's so cool. All right, so he's been looking at the Smilodons and donating and listening to the educational educators, which is a good thing. Definitely wanna have lots of them around. Let's move some desert grass in. And then dodos are laying eggs. This whole area is still empty. We're going to fix that today. I personally think it is beautifully done in most sections because we have little areas where the palm trees are and then there's the palm food on the ground. We have ferns absolutely everywhere to kind of provide a little bit of shelter to break up the exhibit. I think we will get rid of this thing over here, the rock shelter and the issue that we have over here. We'll go ahead get rid of it. Ooh, guests are complaining about not being able to find an ATM. That's always a good thing because that means people want to spend some money here at my zoo. That's wonderful. All right, let's smooth this out. And hopefully it'll mean that the future animals we add over here will be happy over there. We're going to line it with some lady ferns too. Since that's what we kind of use to make like a sort of forest, a thick forest look really cheaply and quickly because lady ferns fill in areas very thickly. There we go. They make it look nice and thick with a bunch of plants without having to put down tons and tons of plants. And then I have been using the traveler's trees as kind of a fun way. Okay, I don't want the those colors though. There we go. I've been using the traveler's trees as a fun way to kind of make a secondary like overlapping border area. So let's see if I can do that over here too. Um, I just, I want to use them kind of sparingly. No, I want the right color. I want the bright green ones because they're so pretty. Yeah, I use them kind of sparingly, but it's kind of fun just to have like another backdrop to the borders here. All right, how close can I get it to the fence? Looks like this is the closest I can go. All right, there we go. And any other trees or anything? Maybe these portilla trees. I must have been really scraping for just a few plants to put in when this was all when this was all being built. All right, anything else? Any of these large fern trees? Oh yeah, these look much better. Look at those. Man, do I have some really huge fern trees? What about maybe a kapok tree? Cuz the kapok trees, there it says something when it's a kapok tree. All right, let's see. I'm going to need Let's go all... Yeah, I think I have access to a lot more plants since last time we were building over in this area. I'm so excited because we're going to have some big old... Ooh, maybe a bur oak? Kind of shifting gears on what type of tree it would be over here, but a bur oak might be kind of cool. Ooh, look at this guy. This one's pretty cool too. I think a bur oak might be a good thing or an evergreen oak. What are some of the endangered trees? Ooh, a giant sequoia. Um, Joshua tree. Let's see. Ooh, what, what's this one? Oh, the little pepperet tree. It's really cute. I like it. Um, anybody else who's from endangered species or extinct species? The Sydney blue gum. That one's endangered too. A small birch tree, tree fern, large tree fern, small tree fern. A few small tree ferns might be appropriate. There we go. That kind of like fills in the back area. You know what? I think that might be okay for now. 
because really what we're trying to give our big horn guys is actually a little bit more space so that they can kind of roam around and have like open fields. Oh, and somebody has been put into a crate. Why? Who? Are you guys trying to escape again? Did I put a Draco Rex in here with you guys? That's probably, no, what? Wait, you don't belong in here. What are you doing in here? How did you get in there? You're gonna die if you stay in there. Stay over here, you silly little thing. Oh my goodness. All right, and let's go ahead and we're gonna see if I have anything like Triceratops. I think just a normal Triceratops is all I wanna mess with because some of the other guys just did not, there we go, Triceratops. Some of the other guys just were not behaving very well. So here we are. Oh, we have the pieces. These are the fossil pieces so that we can put together a Triceratops and it can hopefully come in and be very happy in our dino zoo. We have a gigantic exhibit already prepared for it. It's kind of interesting to come back after so long. Let's see, is this the piece? Not quite. It is very interesting to come back after so long to our dino zoo and see how just terribly messed up it is and all the work we need to do to fix it. Definitely a different angle than starting fresh. All right, there we go. And it goes to show how the longer you work as a zookeeper and the longer you play the game, the more you can learn on making things a little bit better. There we go. A little bit better for your animals every time. I mean, I've been playing this game for like, what, 10 years now? Very long time. Very long time indeed. All right, what about right here? There we go. Right here. Now we're starting to get a move on. All right, let's see. There. This little piece right here. This isn't too bad. There and right here. There we go. The Triceratops has been put together. And now we're gonna go and we can put the Triceratops DNA in and do do hopefully create a Triceratops. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this lab man? All right. Smilodon 2 just died of old age. Oh no. I'm gonna have to get a new Smilodon. I wonder if he managed to get oh, up, down, click, left, right. Oh, it is one of the ones where everything disappears. Down, up, click, left, right. All right, hopefully this will go well. Oh boy, down, left, click, left, right. Oh boy, okay. All right. Ah! <laughs> okay, up, up, down, left, right. All right, I really hope I can have my, my trike. Ah! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Triceratops, okay. You're, you're definitely making me work for it here, buddy. Oh boy. Well, we've got a Triceratops anyway. It's not a super trike, but at least we managed to get a Triceratops. It's a little girl. <gasps> a little girl Triceratops. Welcome, darling. Let us release her. She's coming over and she's gonna eat her little leaves. Look how pretty. Look how pretty she is. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. You have won my heart. She has just won my heart already. She is just so charming and cute. I think our tour guide, like tour guests who ride on the little Jeep tour are gonna fall in love with her. How could you resist that face? Look at her. Oh, she's so cute. Hi, sweetie. Oh, and she's coming over for the salt lick. See, it's perfect. Everything she could possibly want, except maybe a plastic barrel. I think there's even scratching posts scattered around here somewhere. There better be, yeah, there's scratching posts and toys. It is just a Triceratops Wonderland, so she should have a wonderful time in here. I'm so happy! Yay! We're gonna need lots of cute little names for everybody. It's a little girl. She's off to get drink some water from over here. Look at how slow she moves. Look at how slow. Aren't you just the most precious thing in the world? Getting her is so hard. I did not expect to have to do that much on the little, like, challenge piece, so that was pretty interesting. All right, now this guy... How'd you escape again? How are you managing this? I'm gonna go ahead and release this one. Come on, we're gonna actually send you to another area because I think they're starting to try to escape because there's so many of them. They're having a lot of challenge issues. They're fighting with each other a lot. All right, and now what we need to do while we wait to get our DNA abilities back is put in some ATMs because people have actually been asking quite often for ATMs here in our zoo. So it would only be a polite thing to make sure that they have plenty of the supplies that they need to spend all the money they want to spend here. All right, let's see. Maybe an ATM back here too? 
probably a good idea. I'll just tuck it over here. We need like more little gift shops and more little sweet shops over here. So maybe I should put some dessert stands in. Okay, maybe a dessert stand over here and some benches. See what I mean? Like we definitely were in a rush last time we were here and I didn't really go through and thoroughly place the benches and places to eat the way I normally do. So it'll be nice to go back through and add those in. Oh, and we can put in discovery kiosks now. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Little reptile houses and we can pretend they're some of the older reptiles. Play dig pits. I love the play dig pits. Maybe if I put those down, where should I put it? There's always a lot of people over here. Hmm. Hmm. I really want people to use the play dig pits because they're so cool. Maybe I should replace this statue over here with the play dig pit or like the fountain with the play dig pit. I think I want to replace this fountain with the play dig pit because I want people to come over and actually use the play dig pit. Because when you use it and then people come over and use it, they dig things up and they take it to... Um, I need to find like the educator podium. It's something, something specific like, aha, there it is. They take it to this education, extinct education center. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this dinosaur statue. We'll go ahead and we will place the Spinosaurus statue maybe over here where the big tough guys are. Like remove, remove this restroom and replace the dinosaur statue. Um, put the restroom down here. See, we're going to have to redo a whole bunch of things. So dinosaur statue, we will move out of the way if people will come over and start messing with the play dig pit because I want them. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Did it really cost that much? Can I undo that? Because I don't know if that statue really costs that much. And if that's the case, I'm going to have to just leave that statue forever because I'm pretty sure it didn't cost that much. So I'm just going to leave that. Never mind. Just going to leave that there. And... Maybe I'll have the play dig pit and the education center over here. There's an idea. All right, well, let's remove all of these things. Then maybe flatten this out a little bit. Because I really love the play dig pit. It is so cool. Oh, actually, ooh, look at that. There's an idea. So people can actually see into the area down here now. I like where this is going. This is interesting. All right, let's move this around. All right, I want the play dig pit. Extinct education center will be right here. And I'll put maybe a second play dig pit. I really hope people will use these. Sometimes they don't and it breaks my heart because they're so cool. <laughs> they're just so cool. I want people to come over and like play in the play dig pit. I mean, I would have been all over that as a kid. I would have been like, are you kidding me? Yes. It would have been so exciting. <gasps> we have another star, another half a star. We're almost a five star institution. Yes, that would be wonderful. All right, getting distracted by play dig pits. Let's hurry up and put this down. Hopefully we can get lots of people coming down to try it out. Um, Where is the path we're using? Wow, we really must have been struggling way back when for stars, because I don't remember most of these. Stone path, should I replace stone path? No, not that stone path. I kind of like the stone path we're using. Ah, here it is. It's the extinction path. No wonder I like it so much. All right, so let's put the play dig pit down here. Hopefully people will come and use it because it's amazing. And everybody should have a chance to feel like they can play and learn. And then we'll come down here. And now people can come over. And we'll put an educator down here. And they can not only come over and work with the educator, but they can come see the whale sharks at a whole different angle too that you can't see anywhere else. All right, let's do this and a little bit more right here and maybe a teensy bit more around the back. There we go. And we'll come over here and smooth this out. Whoops, I said smooth. All right, there we go. And hopefully we'll be able to attract a few kids to kind of wander down here and give this a try because it's just so awesome. All right, there. All right, there we go. Plenty of path, plenty of room. Put this here. They should walk right past it. Hopefully that'll work. Um, and this will be like another spot that you can come and view everything from. We've got a lot of things to fix in this zoo, don't we? I'm beginning to realize like, oh man, I still have to fix this. I still have to fix that. Still have to put some of these over here. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of work to tidy things up in this dino zoo, but I think it's definitely gonna be worth it. All right few of those and then a few of the large ferns just to sprinkle in a little bit of color 
here and there in clusters. I guess I can move some of these species benches down. Thankfully, if we ever need to be in a really tight place with money, it's not too hard to... Let's see, do I need a little educator over here? Assessing zoo, is there... It, like, would the educator come over here? Or is it actually, like, these guys? Oh, no, it would be this guy instead. So, okay, we don't need you right now, my dear, but we will definitely hire you in the future. So this guy is coming down, and he's going to lecture about the dinosaurs down here. And let's go ahead and sprinkle these large tree ferns in, like so. Put a donation box down here. We might even put in like a dessert shop or something that should hopefully attract more people down this way. So that they'll use my little play dig pit because I love these play dig pits. Oh, I have three of them now, don't I? Ah, what's going on over here? Who even knows? What is happening? There. My gosh, well, I'll have to play with that later, too. Oh, and now it messed it up over here. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're causing problems everywhere we go today, aren't we? Um, how about this? How about this? Yeah. And over here? Okay. Well, we still have to work on this. And this pa the paleontologist is like, no, I'm out of here. I don't want the ground moving under my feet. All right, good, good. Let's put a music stone down where we're trying to attract everybody Let's see a little music stone back here and we'll continue to work on this see if we can get the play dig pits to work because they really are one of my absolute favorite things in the game i really love it because the guests will dig up the bones and eventually build a big giant fossil that you can put around as a decorative object Yee! we've lost a star all right, let's try to earn that star back by whipping up another Triceratops. This is going to be a little tricky. Oh, let's do our best. This is going to be hard. I know it seems easy, but when you're trying to talk and you're trying to, like, study everything all at the same time. Oh, I forgot. Okay, up, up, down, left, right. Yeah, when you're trying to talk and, like, entertain and think about what you're doing all at once, it can be really overwhelming. All right, down, up, click, left, right. All right, down, up, click, left, right. There we go. It's like DDR for your fingers. Up, down, click, right, left. All right. Oh, the woolly rhinoceros is now pregnant. Yay. Up, click, up, left, right. Okay. Can't you help me over here, sir? Give me some hints. All right. Oh, there we go. It's a super trike. Oh, my gosh. It's so big compared to the other one. And it's a male. Oh, thank goodness gracious. So we have one little female, one little male. Where did our little female go? Sweetie, where are you? Oh boy. Oh, there she is. Oh, thank goodness. She disappeared for a second. Look how much bigger he is to her. Oh, and they're kind of grunting at each other. Oh, look at them. Look at them. They're so cute. Oh my goodness, so we have our trikes and they're all set up. I love their exhibit. This should be wonderful. A really good exhibit for them. Hopefully they won't rage. Hopefully they won't break out. Hopefully they won't have issues. Oh, look, and she's happy. She should be happy because she now has a little buddy who will be her he here with her because it looks like she was having a little bit of some lonesome issues. So social need was pressing. Well, guess what? Now you can run around. You can have a good time because you've got a new friend. One day he might grow up and like be your mate even. Hopefully people will enjoy watching her. What do you think? Great to see some animals. Oh, we might even be able to do a mixed species exhibit in here soon too. So I'll keep my eyes peeled for any creatures that are herbivores that might mix in well with our Triceratops just to see how that might go. Even just some like modern day birds that we could pretend sort of just landed in there. Like some ducks. I could see some ducks waddling around in here. That could be fun. Whew. All right, well, we're making some progress. This is definitely hilarious because I'm more having to clean up our messes from months before where I don't even remember than anything else. Oh, do we finally have? Yes! We finally have some performances on this stage. This is another thing I was hoping would happen. Oh, look at this! And I think people, yeah, look at this, finally! This is what I wanted to happen, where people could come and sit down and watch some stage performances. So this is really going great. I am very happy with this. I just hope people, what the heck? How are you guys getting out? How is this even a thing? How do you do this? Okay, I'm gonna adopt her out because I think that happens when they challenge each other and they like fly the coop. 
So, all right, we've got lots of people moving over here. We're gonna have to like move some things around over here. Maybe put in like a Sarcosuchus perhaps? Do I have Sarcosuchus? Some cool water creatures over here. And yeah, it's actually kind of fun to have to like fix the mess we made of our old zoo and try to make it something a little bit more interesting. And what on earth, why do I have crates scattered everywhere? How are you guys just like master escape artists? I don't understand. I really don't understand, huh? Well, all right, guys, I will see you all next time. We will continue to try to add to the dinosaur zoo. It's actually really fun. And hopefully we'll be able to explore some of the new creatures we haven't seen before. And maybe I really think it would be fun to add in something into the Triceratops exhibit, something that could coexist with it. So we'll look around for that. We'll have to grab mates for a whole bunch of the guys who are just like, is he hiding? Yeah, like our Carnotaurus. He probably deserves to have a little mate pretty soon. He's resting in his rock shelter and snoozing. And we'll have to make sure that our guests remain happy and try to aim for that very, very hard to reach five star zoo. And then of course, after we hit the five star zoo, I love doing the little goals and challenges of, do do do, where are my goals and challenges actually? I'm looking for over here, of the zoo awards for the headset kiosk because the headset kiosk can be quite difficult to get. Um. Yep, see, we've barely got any money towards the headset kiosk. So we'll work on that too. But all right, guys, I will see you all later. Bye-bye.